Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing, but then again you know that don't you? Because that's why you've tuned in. Right, Josh Warrington's vacated the IBF featherweight title. We know why he's vacated, don't we? Because there were a purse bid that went in for him against Galahad and the winning bid were $50,000. The only bid, $50,000. So by the time you've whacked that up, between a 75 and a 25 <laughs> percent job it's not a lot of money is it uh, obviously there might have been something else that they could get out of the job but it's not a lot is it so did josh warrington do the right thing to vacate i think he did i think josh warrington coming back to eddie earn i think that puts eddie in a bit of a tight spot because he's a massive ticket seller sells out arenas Kid Galahad, he couldn't draw flies to a turd, could he? He's got one of them styles that people don't like. He's a drug cheat, served a drug ban. And he does other things that have gone on behind the scenes in boxing. I don't want to go into it because it's like the adventures of Tintin, isn't it? The point I want to make is he's got an horrible style and rubs people up wrong way. So maybe Kid Galahad should stay off social media and stop coming out with all this cringy comments and all that. And maybe fans might get behind him then. Nobody's saying he can't fight, he's technically, he's up there isn't he, he's like a technician surgeon type guy isn't he, but he's going on about Josh Warrington saying he doesn't fight and he doesn't knock anybody out and he throws a thousand punches and a fight and all this and blah de blah, well, Kid Gallagher, you're not exactly Julian Jackson are you, or Ernie Shavers, you're not an ice man are you, I mean pfft. How many fights have you had where we, we've left the arena and we've gone? Do you know what? I'm going to buy a Kid Galahad ticket. I want to see him again. No. Don't sell tickets. Nobody's got behind him. And you've just seen purse bid, haven't you? $50,000 for the vacant world title. Oh, my God. You couldn't make it up, could you? You couldn't make that up. Do I want to see Josh Warrington against Kid Galahad again? No. Does Sky want to see it again? No. Do you know why? Because Eddie Hearn didn't bid on it. Eddie Hearn, the man that doesn't win purse bids, yet again I was proved correct. He didn't even enter a bid. Billion dollar Eddie, doing his best for his guys, couldn't even enter a bid. Never mind win the bid. So that's where we're at. If I were Josh Warrington, I'd pack my bags and I'd get out of Dodge. Because Eddie's not delivered for him, as he's parked him up, has he? Do I see Josh Warrington fighting now, that Lara? I think that's a 50-50. It, I think it's 50-50 whether that fight happens. I think Josh blows him away anyway, but why would he want to take that risk? It's not for a belt, there's no in it for him, is there? So, he'll not have a contract with Matchroom, so why don't he jog on and leave him? They're not done no for him, have they? Just because you go to match them, it doesn't mean to say that they can deliver for you. Did they deliver for Billy Joe? Liam Smith? No. No. Couldn't get John Ryder a rematch with Callum Smith, could they? Fair enough, Callum had Canelo and waited out for that, but... Eddie couldn't deliver for Callum Smith a world title. Calla Sowland delivered it for him at WBSS, so I don't know what to make of it all, but if I were Yazza Dickens, I won't be listening to Tony Bellew about fighting Kid Galahad, because Kid Galahad beats Yazzie Dickens again. He's beat him once, he beat him again. He's not, it's an awful fight and it's an awful style. It's one of them styles that the fans don't get behind. You don't go out with your mates, do you, to the pub and go, come on, hurry up, Porky, it's last, it's last orders. We need to get back for the Kid Galahad fight. No, we don't say that, do we? He's like an afterthought in boxing, is he? You put boxing on and he comes out into the ring and you go, oh, it's Kid Gallard, and you start making a cup of tea and all that. You're not sat on the edge of your seat like when Frotch fights, are you? Do you know what I mean? So, or Arturo Gatti or Kessler or any of them people. No, no we're not, are we? you're not, are you? You're like, oh, it's Kid Gallard, oh God. But we wish him well, but I'm not a Kid Gallard fan, as you can see. I like Josh Warren, I like what he stands for, but when you look at Kid Galahad's CV, every belt that he's won, from lower level all the way up, 
they've all been vacant belts why is that because when he comes knocking tv and managers and promoters are like oh god kid galahad's mandatory oh my god what we're gonna do we're gonna have to vacate because we ain't gonna get paid so that's that's how i look at it and jazza dickens ain't gonna get paid fighting him as well there's not gonna be no money on the table there might be for for, for, for it might be for a normal fight but this is a world title fight you're not going to get world title money are you and there's that who is it mark magseo 21 and 0 he's ranked one position below yazzie dickens in the ibf so this is how i look at it why doesn't yazzie dickens turn around to eddie and say eddie do you know what I don't want to fight Kid Gallard. His style's all wrong with me. He stinks out the arena. He's the Johnny Nelson of the featherweights. He stinks out arenas. If you think Lawrence Cole is bad, go and watch Johnny Nelson against Carlos De Leon. Well, Kid Gallard, maybe he's a touch, touch better than Johnny Nelson, but there's no in it for them being the stinkinators. So this is how I look at it, right? Yazza Dickens, does he really need to be in a stinker now for a world title and losing by about eight rounds to four against Galahad? No, he doesn't, does he? But what I don't want to see is Galahad coming out talking about Josh Warrington and not being an ice man. God, he didn't even engage in that fight. But Yazza Dickens should tell Eddie Hearn and Bellew, who's his manager, advisor, whatever you want to call it, he should say, listen, Bellew, I want to fight that, who is it, who's the champion, uh, I forgot his name now, I wrote it down somewhere, is it Emmanuel Navarretti, he should say I want to fight him, make that fight because Yazza Dickens is the number one ranked WBO featherweight, so it's only a matter of time before he can wait, get his man to call for that isn't it, now but the problem he's got is he's tied up with Tony Bellew and Tony Bellew's whispering to the chosen few i'll never wait with frank warren i'll never wait with frank warren so yazza dickens, yazza dickens is in a dilemma and he is a, he's a lovely kid yazza a really nice kid he's in a dilemma that his manager don't want to wait with brick top so what does he do he gets in bed done with eddie Earn, tony bellew so if you're going to be a bellew fighter you're going to be in bed with eddie Earn. you're not going to have any other options but really wouldn't it be better if yazza fought that uh, Navarretti or whatever he's called, Emmanuel Navarretti, for WBO, won that belt, Kid Gallard wins IBF against the next kid below him, and then they have a unification for decent money, won't that be better than going and fighting somebody who's already beat you comfortably last time out, wouldn't, wouldn't that be better, I think it'd be a lot better, but this is what we've got with this cold war, with this Frank Warren, Eddie Hearn, Cold War, three fights they've put on in 10 years. Three fights in 10 years. If they could give us one fight every three months, that'd be 40, wouldn't it? 40 over 10 year, not three. We'd have one every three months instead of one every three plus years. Do you see where I'm coming from? That's just my opinion. I, I, I just think that it needs looking at. Uh, it is what it is, isn't it? But I don't want to see, I don't want to see Yazzie Dickens against Galahad. It's it's got stink, stinky and smelly written all over it. And cos it's Yazzie Dickens and Bell uses his manager. Could you imagine if there were only two or three rounds in it? We'd have to put up with Tony, the disappearing man, Bell you bellowing from side at ring and ranting up and down, doing yet another. 55 minute IFL sit down, you know like the one he's just done yesterday, well we'd have like, it's like 48 hours with Eddie, Eddie Murphy and Nick Knowlton here, we've got 48 hours and then we've got another 48 hours and then we've got yet another 48 hours, this is like this with Tony Bell, you wouldn't have got Tony Bell you sit down on IFL 55 minutes, then we've got another Tony Bell you sit down 55 minutes, then we've got Yet another Tony Bellew sit down, 55 minutes. And he'd be going on and on and on and on. And he'd be bellowing and belly aching and chipping away for a Yazza Dickens rematch about, about how his fighter got robbed. We heard it all with the Derek Chisora thing, didn't we, against Usyk. I don't think I could stomach going through 
All the build up to a Yazza Dickens Kid Galahad fight that's got smelly belly written all over it. And then the aftermath of Kid Galahad schooling him eight rounds to four and bell you. Oh my god, screaming for a rematch! Screaming for it. I can't bear it. So, Kid Galahad, take some very, 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 very good advice off your Uncle Porky. Wait it out for the WBO. Wait it out, lad. Wait it out. And then beat that kid, and then you've got someone to bring to the table, haven't you? And who knows if Galahad don't get the fights that other kid who's ranked below in IBF, that Mag Soya, whatever it's called, Mark Mag Sayo, 21 and 0. If Galahad fights him and don't win, well, you've got upper hand with money, and you? you can always fight him again and get your revenge. If, if you, but I don't think your style is right. You live the life and everything, Yaz, but I don't think your style. He's right to beat Kid Galahad, he's got one of them horrible styles, he don't come to fight, he looks to pick your pocket, he don't engage, he's got the heart of a breadcrumb. That's why the fans can't get behind Kid Galahad. Heart of a breadcrumb, and why would you want to fight a drug cheat, uh, Yazza? I mean, your manager, Mr Tony Bellew, is dead against convicted drug cheats, isn't he? But he's willing to put you in with a drug cheat. I don't get that. Does anybody else get that? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I just, I don't, I don't know what to make of it. I don't know what to make of it, but it is what it is, isn't it? It's just one of them things, isn't it? It's just one of them things, but uh, I think I've got some on here, actually, that's a bit, let's have a look what I've got on here, but we wish him all the best, don't we? But it's boxing, isn't it? It's boxing. But like I said, we wish, we wish these people all the best. Let me just show you this. People need to unhappy about the situation that kid could become mandatory again for Josh Warrington. You don't really care though, do you? Oh, what a shame. People need to realise that he won the first fight. How did you score it? He won the first fight by two rounds. Two rounds? Yeah. You mentioned the kid Galahad fight, obviously very close and in some instances controversial in some people's eyes. How did you see the fight going, Eddie? I thought it was a draw. Um, I think that if you're going to win a world title on a away man's patch, you've got a box, you know, convincingly to do it. I thought it was a very close fight. Um, a lot of people would lead. There you go. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'm getting terrible, aren't I? Well, lately, I'm getting terrible, aren't I? But I just felt that I had to point that out. Uh, it, this, this, this is what we're, what we're being served up. I mean, it, it's just... It's out of control, isn't it, now? I mean, people keep saying to me, Porky, you repeated the same old thing. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm just doing what I want to do, but let's have it right. You've just heard Eddie Earn there tell one person, oh, I, I thought you were a draw. And then what happens then? He gets, he signs other person and tells him he won by two rounds. Oh, my God. What's all that about? Hey, eh? What's all that about? Oh, he's waking up other person and tells him it's two rounds. Look. Eddie didn't even bid on the fight, so that's how much he cares about Josh Warrington and Kid Gallard. He don't care about them. He's not your best mates. Look, Kid Gallard, I know you're watching this. Eddie Hearn's not your best mate. He probably sits there with his dad and goes, do you know what? I'm going to have some writer dates with this dad. His dad will go, why not go? I've only got that Kid Gallard as mandatory with IBF and he's sticking to his guns and he'll dad, his dad will go, oh my God. He stinks arenas out, doesn't sell tickets, and he's a drug cheat. And he's been involved in other stuff outside of boxing. Anywhere he's, he's, he's uh, not covered himself in glory. That's one of Dennis Hobson's old sayings. He's not covered himself in glory, so that's what I'll say. Instead of swearing. So, that's how I look at it. But, I think Josh Wannington and Kid Gallagher, we saw the first one, and people were booing, weren't they? It were... I mean, if Josh Warrington's not going to fight for Tuppence, is he? But that's how they've got him to release the belt, isn't it? By not putting bids in for the fight. And that's what you're up against. But it is what it is, isn't it? So, all right. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Keep supporting it like I do. But it's very hard to be positive about boxing at the moment. It's so easy to be negative. But we want things to be done right. We don't want to be lied to and messed about. I don't want to be messed about anymore. We, we and investing my time in certain fighters. You know, I used to invest my time watching Kid Galahad, but then once he got banned for drugs, and then he started 
going out doing what they were doing, sat in people's cars while they're abusing people on the streets and all that kind of kind. We can go on forever, can't we? It's like a broken record. I don't get, I can't get behind people like that. I'm sorry, but I can't get behind people like that. It is what it isn't. So, all right. So, boom, boom. Catch you later. Hmm.